Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for Libra. Oops, there we go. Libra. Boy, I'll tell you, those cards are sure coming out. I can barely speak. <laughs> New love prospects, connections for Libra. What does Libra need to know? Clarity, please, for Libra. There you go. Yeah, some of you are ending something with someone younger or someone from the past, and you don't care. Okay, the devil may care. <laughs> I think you got someone who's obsessed with you, someone from the past crushing. I feel as though you probably don't really care. Yeah, you're not seeing a future with someone here. I see a little Capricorn energy. Some of you may have that energy in your chart, or you're just focused on your money. Okay, but I think you got someone who's obsessed with you. Could be someone who's from the past. Uh, but I do see this energy of that Wheel of Fortunes ending a one cycle, starting something new. Yeah, so there's definitely this energy of being bored, not so sure, okay? It's also an energy of rejection. You may have a person who acted like they didn't care, but they do, <laughs> okay? A lot of you are just focused on money, making plans for the future, being practical, sensible, grounded. You're looking out for yourself. Yeah, if you have somebody who rejects you, you may be you may be the one who's acting like you don't care, but do. But it could go the either way. Uh, we have a single person here, so in this card, there's two single people. Someone here, you know, likes a lot of attention. Someone who gets a lot of attention. Yeah, there's a focus on something here. Focus on one. This is someone who may focus on themselves, act like they don't care. Yeah, so there's definitely a little remorse, regret. Uh, could be a little stress or worry. I a lot of times see it as unfounded fear. Maybe having a fear of being single. Can't find anybody that you want. Maybe every time you meet someone, you know, it's the same sort of, I feel like it's a scenario of some sort here. Maybe a little worried, you know, that you're going to be single. You can't find anyone that you like, but you are being sensible to look out for yourself. Yeah, you've got a king of cups here. Someone here who has some unfounded fears, very cautious. Someone very, very cautious with their feelings. Uh, you may have a person who has some kind of regret here. Someone may have rejected you. Yeah, look at that energy. This is two people talking, communicating, learning about each other. Two people growing closer. So I feel as though you're moving away from something. You're distancing yourself from a person. This is moving into calmer waters. Yeah, it's a cycle that's ending. There's something that's finished. It's over. So someone has some regrets or some kind of fear. Okay, I don't know if you've got a long distance communication or long distance uh, situation with a person, but it's an energy of two people. Now, taking the time to get to know each other. Someone didn't take the time to get to know you. That's what I feel. Now, they acted like they don't care or you're feeling that way. Or in fact, it could even be both of you. So, Somebody might be just a little worried where this is going. You know, as you get to know each other, it'll just end. I do see that. Tr two cards of transition. You see, someone could be ending things with, um, could be even a Scorpio energy. Some of you may have ended something with a Scorpio. Yeah, so it's an ending, a healing, releasing of negative energy. Let's see what the Six of Cups has to say here, Libra. Whoops. You know, it's funny, this energy, the way it's coming up. Yeah, look at that. So something coming in very quick from the past, see? Fiery, passionate, flirty, coming in out of the blue. Someone may be reaching out, but I, I feel like you, honestly, I feel as though you have someone. I feel like it's over. It's not something you, I feel it's like you know it won't go in your favor. It's like you're focused on things that will, you know? And what is that here for? Yeah, Empress Energy. Yeah, so it's like two people who aren't on the same page, the same path. You don't have a lot of faith in this situation. I can see that energy. As someone who comes in fast out of the blue, um, you know, it just comes in very fast, very flirty. There may be someone from the past or it's just a an energy of just sort of uh, recognizing that energy. But I feel it's an energy of not having faith. Yeah, see about going down that path, whether someone's right for you or not. So I feel like you're off on another path here. You want someone more compatible. Um, 
Yeah, see, justice and balance here. Someone's not right for you. You kind of don't even care. I feel like you don't care, okay, whoever this is. It's like you're off on another path with someone who is right. Like you're, It's like you're recognizing this person's not right for you. You may have had a crush on them when they were young, or they've had a crush on you. Uh, they may come in suddenly. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles energy. Whoops. Yeah, a little Pisces energy. Trust your intuition. There's something you're not comfortable with. You know everything you already need to know. You already know. They're not right, okay? Yeah. You don't see yourself married to this person or whatever the situation, you know? It's a some a person here who, it's a little, I'm not going to say immature. It's like it's a simple communication, but it comes in out of the blue. It's fiery, passionate, and flirty. Now, I feel like it's something that's already happened. You're off on another path. You don't have any faith in this person. You're not on the same page. You're not on the same level. Uh, that's where I feel. You already know everything you need to know. So you're being very grounded. I feel like you're focused on money. You don't see a future with this person. There's some kind of rejection. You might even just ignore this person. Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I just feel like they're, it's not what you want. They're just not what you want. Okay, you're off on another path. You want someone compatible. Yeah, this is what you want is an emperor. <laughs> emperor energy. That's what you're looking at here. Yeah, I feel like it's just a cycle that's over. I don't know whether it was a high school crush or someone that decides to just come in. Okay, I do see Taurus Libra energy. Pisces, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Very strong Taurus energy in this reading. So I do feel there's this emperor energy. You know, this is someone looking at you here. Someone who's single. Someone's looking to see if you're single. I think they, this person here, you've got someone here who already knows everything they need to know about you. They actually see you as just right. So there's a couple things going on for some of you. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. There's always messages for other people. Uh, Nine of Pentacles energy. Why is this here? Yeah, see, this is definitely someone who feels they missed an opportunity. I feel like you've got a couple. Honestly, I feel like there's a couple people here, a, a few energies. Now, um, but I can see you not interested. I feel like you just don't care. Uh, but there's there's this other energy of uh, you may have be focused on another person, someone who you do see in your future. You're trusting your intuition. There's something that makes you uncomfortable in the communication. But you've got this emperor. What is this emperor's intentions? Yeah, just kind of go with the flow, see what evolves, see what happens. This is an energy where this may not go anywhere, you see. You've got a person here, I feel, who's kind of looking out for themselves, looking out for number one. But there's two single people, okay? Two single people. I don't know whether you're just bored or you have this per this energy. It's like you already know everything you need to know, okay? You're right here in that energy, trusting your intuition. Something isn't it doesn't feel right, you're not going for it. It has to do with that initial communication, at least for one of these energies. But I do see this energy of a missed opportunity, a rejection. I feel like you've got someone uh, coming towards you here. Someone was very guarded, defensive. Something is, you know, got, kind of got your guard up a little bit here, Libra. But I also feel this person's guarded and defensive. Somebody who maybe wasn't sure you were the right person for them. They're coming back around. It's like this is something that didn't go anywhere. And I, it's in the heart of the reading. So that's why I feel there's two people. There's someone here you don't care about. Someone that you're obsessed with. Okay. <laughs> yeah, or they're obsessed with you. But I see this energy of uh, unfounded fears, stress. Somebody wants another opportunity. Someone healing, clearing out their head, clearing out their energy. Yeah, so you got someone who failed to recognize an opportunity when they had it. Now, it could be you, it could be them, uh, but I feel there's this indecision. Someone failed to recognize, to see. They were guarded. They were very guarded, defensive, had their guard up, and that could be yourself, too. Maybe it, it is this one person who came in, they didn't come in right, so you didn't have a lot of faith in this communication. It's something simple in this communication, some simple thing, something that happened, okay? 
So I do see this indecision failing to recognize. So I feel like there's a person here who's kind of holding back. Uh, I see you taking a little bit of break, someone taking a break from love, holding back here, clearing their head, clearing out negative energy, you see. Uh, this is someone who didn't take the time to get to know you, so it ended. So there's this transition where you got this person, yeah. See, there's a little bit of fear here, uh, mysteries, confusion. Uh, someone releasing it. Someone's having to face their fears, facing the fact that it may actually be over. Pisces, Cancer, Energy. With a Scorpio for some of you. Every ending brings a new beginning, though. It's an energy of someone learning, uh, facing their fears, coming forward to, you know, it could be making peace. Somebody may have, you know, needed to make some peace with their past, possibly. But yeah, I'm going to, I, I feel there's two energies, but I can't put my finger on, on it. Because I feel like you don't see this person as compatible. You don't have any faith. But it could be this person who came in, you know. I, I just feel two. We're going to dig into it. Because I'm feeling two energies, not and one not including yourself. Okay, I feel you've got a couple of people here. I do see an emperor plus a king of cups. The moon, secrets, mystery, confusion, illusion, facing fears, shadow work, someone learning, uh, facing their fears, coming in to talk, to communicate. But I feel there's this fear of this won't go anywhere as well, or fear that this may actually be over. So we'll see. Yeah, so it's an energy of gaining the strength and confidence, taming the beast. Somebody lacked the confidence to make some kind of a decision, which would have created some sort of change. I see. Uh, see, I that's why I feel like I feel like you have someone here coming in out of the past, someone younger, uh, simple communication. They somebody who just communicates simply, but it's fiery, passionate, flirty. It's making you uncomfortable. You already know. They're not right for you. You already know this person's not right. And I feel like you don't care. But I also feel like you got someone obsessed with you who actually, is, it feels like another energy. You can correct me, um, you know, or it's just two different scenarios for two different sets of people. But I feel like you got someone here, this emperor, this is someone who generally knows exactly what they want and they're not afraid to go after it. But for some reason, you've got your guard up. Some of you may have even blocked somebody or you're thinking about it if they come back around. Um, tell me more about this emperor. Tell me about this emperor. Who is this emperor? Yeah. Heartache and fear. Somebody afraid of rejection. They're guarded, defensive. They don't like to be rejected. They're used to getting a lot of attention, you see. It's a single person, someone who's afraid they're going to be single, or someone's afraid you aren't, okay? Vice versa, possible third party, but there's confusion. So, yeah, so I do feel there's going to be this change, um, kind of moving on from this situation. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. This is an energy of someone who pushes someone away because they're afraid of being rejected. So they inadvertently push someone away. Okay. Could be yourself. You know, I see two people failing to recognize something here. I got, I feel like it's both of you, maybe together or to do with another person. Yeah. It's a cycle landing. Someone didn't get what they wanted. They were guarded. They pushed someone away or they were just very defensive energy ending a cycle because they didn't get what they want things didn't go in their favor it's a fear of i feel somebody was afraid they were going to be rejected so it's like someone rejected the other person first or to let someone feel they were the one who was rejected <laughs> i see that uh, tell me more about this two of swords yeah so see there's this conflict competition some kind of argument or it's about someone taking action someone failed to recognize they needed to fight for what they wanted they need to take action but there's this indecision here so i do feel that someone who's been on a little bit of a break in their love life holding back healing um, okay someone doing shadow work facing their fears here trying to gain the strength so someone lacked the strength and confidence i feel they were worried about being rejected or assumed they did something to do with the communication okay Wow, 
Tell me more about this strength. Someone who lacked the strength and confidence. See, there was lack here. They felt they weren't good enough, don't have enough money, whatever the situation. So, and I do, yeah, there's a little Pisces, someone here feeling, taking a little pause, a little moment to introspect, looking at things from a different perspective. It's someone looking at things from a different perspective to do with the fear, confusion, mystery. It's an energy of someone learning, moving away. Someone didn't take the time to get to know you. Or someone didn't take the time to communicate something properly. I feel like there's some kind of a misunderstanding for some of you. Because I feel it has to do with initial communication. Something simple. Okay. And something little was blown up to be something bigger. Maybe a third party situation. Conflict. Challenges. Obstacles to overcome. Uh, maybe a long distance communication yeah so there's that energy of, of leaving the past in the past reflecting on it taking a leap of faith uh, someone was afraid to take a risk here uh, oh yeah tell me more about the moon so someone here is definitely you know taking something they've learned here and they're moving away uh, taking a little break clearing their head Moving forward calmly and peacefully. This is someone who's going to communicate with you. They're planning to have success. See, someone didn't plan to have success. They didn't plan out their communication very well. Oh, yeah, there's definitely, it's to do with that communication right at the top with that Six of Cups. Okay. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. This is someone looking at the details. Planning for success, slow and steady wins the race. Taming the beast, yeah, a single person. Two single people. Yeah, see, someone real, I feel like you got someone who's a little shy. They may come in, they may have come in and we're fishing for information. Someone looking at the details here, they're seeing that energy, their lack of confidence. I think, still feel like there's two people. I feel like there's someone here you don't really care about. I feel like you're ignoring them. Okay, whatever the situation, they may be obsessed with you, but I feel like there's another, it's like you're in a whole another direction here. You're like moving on from this energy, but you've got this other person coming around where there's something evolving. Yeah, see, something to do with travel, movement, some sort of change of direction. Someone may be changing their mind here about something too. Yeah, walking away. Where is my soulmate? Someone here wasn't being very emotional. They left their emotions out of a situation. But I do feel like someone wants to court you. Yeah, so I feel some of you are moving away from someone. Yeah, you're moving towards someone else, someone more emotionally available, mature. So tell me more about this communication and this Six of Cups energy. Why is this here? It's driving me crazy. I see so many scenarios. I want to narrow it down. Six of Cups. Yeah, so someone is very much in their head doing a lot of thinking. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It looks like Libra, uh, Taurus. That's Empress energy as well. This is a cycle ending. Someone's trying to strategize how to get things to go in their favor. But I feel there's someone doing a lot of thinking, okay? This is someone strategic. I think you got a person here um, you don't care about, okay? I don't. And I do think there's some obsessive thinking about uh, someone being right, someone being not. I don't think you care because I'm seeing this energy, okay? Um, Capricorn energy, whether you have it in your chart or not. You're focused on your money. There's something you're not. It's about the creature comforts of home, feeling comfortable. You're not comfortable with someone. The way they communicate, it made you uncomfortable. They're not right. They didn't come in right. I'm, I feel that energy very strong. They're just not compatible. So you're off on a new path. King and Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're moving towards someone else here. I feel like we got two. And there's another scenario of two people, both with the Four of Cups, missing an opportunity, failing to recognize, failing to see something to do with the communication. Uh, so I, I, it could be all one, but I'm seeing two scenarios or just two... Uh, ways two perspectives of seeing a situation 
You both may see things differently. It's about seeing things from each other's perspective. So it's a lock. Someone locked the strength and confidence. They're fishing for info. They came in with lock. They're looking at this. They're seeing this perspective, seeing your perspective as well. Okay. A little Pisces energy here. Tell me more about the hangman. Yeah. So there's this energy of release, making a decision to just let go. Uh, it also looks like a possible reconciliation. Someone's looking at things from a different perspective. They're letting go of something. It's letting go of that lack. Um, someone feeling maybe a little bit like the victim. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about this. I, I, I feel like just they're just making a decision to let go. I think you got this person heading towards you here. Yeah, so someone offered one cup, nothing more. They kept their feelings to themselves. They didn't get what they wanted because of it. You see, they lack the confidence to communicate, see, to express themselves, to put themselves out in the open. This is someone feeling naked, feeling exposed, you see. Oh, yeah. So I do feel this is someone who wants a new beginning here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Two people who have each other's best interests, you see. There's something to do with financial stability. You got someone here, I feel, is quite financially stable, self-made, you know, a person who works hard to get where they're at. Yeah, but I do feel this person clearing their negative energy. This is someone who I feel, see, held back their feelings, you see. They didn't offer all their feelings, unrequited love, so they didn't get what they wanted. So I do feel there's that person doing the thinking, the learning, see, tempering their head, making a head over heart decision, balancing head over heart. Ah, uh, so I feel like this person is, uh, you know, looking at things differently here, seeing things different, seeing things from your perspective is what I feel. Because you're not comfortable. You know everything you need to know. They know what they need to know about you. There's feelings. You both know. I feel like you both know that there's some feelings and emotions. You both, um, you know, were worried about rejection. Neither person shared their feelings or... You know, like it could go either way, but I feel this is that cycle. Someone pushed someone away. It ended the cycle. It's also a bit of an on and off situation, emotional roller coaster. So, but it's two people failing to recognize that I really feel like it's this person, um, this emperor energy. It's like you already know, so someone who wants everything their way. So, you know, like that's maybe how you felt at the time, the way they communicated. They weren't telling you something, okay? They were maybe reaching out, fishing for information, feeling insecure, you know, not having the confidence to share their feelings. So you know, they chose to just release. But I feel this person's doing some thinking about it for whatever reason, you know, Mercury retrograde energy more than likely. I do believe we're almost finished or should be. Yeah, so there's that energy. Some kind of an event. So this is there's some kind of talk about an event here. Um, just to clarify that. There's something in the communication about other people, gossip, other people involved, uh, friends. You see that passion. Uh, where someone is looking at it. I feel as though someone was, uh, they're thinking about this energy, I feel, right now, okay? Like, I don't know why it's telling me that, but it is. And it has to do with something in the communication, to do with event and invitation. There was a rejection. Maybe somebody, um, I feel as though you were, you know, wanting something. You didn't get what you wanted from this person. Okay, and there's this talk, this text message or something, this communication. And I do feel there's something in it to do with this uh, event or other people, friends, okay? We have the lovers here. I was going to say friends with benefits energy. Something definitely ended it. Going off on a new path, feeling like they're, you know, you're not having any faith or something about being faithful. Maybe there was some kind of gossip about yourself, about this person, to do with compatibility, to do with cooperation and compromise. There's a lack of compromising here. But it's yet there's two people here going down this path. Two people not on the same page. And it has to do with, you cannot get on the same page unless they take the time to talk and communicate clearly. That much I can see. So there, it's definitely the communication is the key. Something that was said. 
Mm -hmm. Tell me about this justice. I can't put my finger on the exact communication, but there's either other people involved or it's something to do with an event. Uh, very sudden, but there's this passionate talk out of the blue. And you're not liking something here. It's making you uncomfortable is what I feel. Uh, you know, you know everything you need to know. But I, I feel like, see, it's two people feeling the same way, feeling rejected, something isn't good enough, or two people failing to recognize, to see. It's an energy of conflict, competition, or obstacles. Uh, maybe competition, you were afraid to take a risk with this person or they were afraid to take a risk with you. Most likely both of you by the looks of the energy for different reasons, different perspectives, two people seeing things different. Yeah, so there's this energy of letting go. So you felt like this person didn't see your worth and your value. They didn't share their feelings, you see. So it's a willing release, letting go. This person lets you go or you let them go. Uh, but this is a, definitely that energy. Someone didn't get their wish fulfillment, their hopes and dreams, and I feel they're going to come towards you, okay? Don't know what's going on here. This is not your usual read. I definitely see Aquarius and Libra energy yourself. So this is, you know, this is an energy of things go, you know, someone obsessed with you, they see you as just right, you know, but they didn't communicate right. They Something didn't go over right. That's what I'm feeling. So I don't know if, you know, I feel this is going to pertain to a few people. So tell me more about justice. Yeah, see, this is that opportunity. So offering that cup. This is someone, you know, sees you as just right. They're crazy about you, but yet they uh, communicated in a way that I feel like you didn't have faith or you felt they weren't faithful. Uh, something was released in this communication, more than likely an act, something accidental by the looks of it, created some kind of argument or uh, chaos. It's also someone who didn't take action to fight for what they wanted. They held back and healed. Yeah, see, somebody's releasing their ego. We got death of the ego. Oh, yeah, their ego got trampled. It's all about their ego, uh, whether they recognize it. But I do think this person's releasing that. I think they're coming towards you humble. You got someone who's being humbled here. And uh, yeah, they're coming in to speak some kind of truth here. Oh my gosh, a little Gemini energy for some of you. I see some Virgo energy here. Very strong Libra, Pisces. A little bit of Leo and Sag, Aries. Pretty much all the signs. Uh, this is two people manifesting here. So this person's coming in. They now have all the tools. They have the information. Someone's mastering the elements. So they're so someone being the master of themselves. They're, they're learning something. They're coming towards you. So you're getting a heads up. You may not have a clue who this is. It either has to do with someone from a long time ago and some kind of gossip or an event that happened. But it was supposed to be a happy event, but it didn't go very well. Uh, or it didn't happen at all because of this lack of faith. And I do see the Empress energy. So when I see this person being obsessed, but I feel like there's this energy of someone who acts like they don't care, but they do. In fact, I think you both feel that way. Or you, like I say, that original scenario where you have someone you aren't on the same page with, you're ignoring them because you're more focused on another person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, more focused on someone else. Two people crazy about each other. My goodness, you guys. So what is the outcome of this? Let's see. What is the outcome of this judgment, this decision to release this lack? Someone's shining a light on it. Gaining some kind of clarity, learning something, you see. You got a person looking. This is a very curious, somebody very logical. It has to do with the seven of wands. Someone needs to let their guard down. Someone was afraid to let their guard down. Two people, both of you need to let your guard down. Okay, this person's learning that, they're seeing it, they're looking at this from a different perspective, being logical with that light, see, it's about that clarity, it was a lack of clear communication, someone didn't tell you the truth, they didn't tell you how they felt, because then you got the king of cups, someone's ego holding them back because of fear of rejection, if you haven't heard from this person in a long time, you may be hearing from them. I know a lot of you do not want to hear, but it's here for a reason. You're getting a heads up to prepare, <laughs> okay? Uh, you may not be interested. You might just decide to or to ignore this person. You know, you may have, you know, learned a few things yourself here to do with faith. I actually feel some of you got a couple people around you, okay? 
Uh, one of you, I feel there's a Pisces you're just not comfortable with. You know everything you need to know. That's the one I feel is like uh, you're ignoring this person, maybe blocking them or just uh, rejected them, whatever. Okay, because I feel they're the someone coming in flirty and uh, youthful. Uh, someone from the past that's been crushing on you. Yeah, we got a little jealousy here too. Someone gaining the strength. See, you've got a person who lacked the strength. They're gaining that strength. They're planning for success. Uh, so somebody who's, who's ruled by their ego. It's also someone who's very jealous. Okay, it's also someone who's a very good kisser. <laughs> Yeah, very good kisser. You got a jealous person here too. They want to know what you're focused on, if you're focused on someone else, who you're giving your attention to. Uh, but they're planning to come towards you. They are think looking at that ego, okay? They are looking at, they're aware of this ego energy. It's the death of the ego. Because it's baggage, you know, it's baggage. It's something that's not serving. So I feel they're going to come in very humble. They're coming in to take a risk. And I uh, feel they want to put this behind. They're hoping to move forward successfully here. But it's also an energy just about when you're ready to give up on this person. Here they come. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to tell you, they are a good kisser. They're also someone who's very jealous, very protective. Okay. Mm -hmm. They definitely see you. They know everything they need to know about you. They see you as marriage material. Someone's focused on their money, their finance. Very very sensible, you see. Very balanced. You're very balanced. So it's quite... It. They, I'm going to tell you, they hold you in high regard, more so than you probably ever know. Uh, it doesn't mean you're going to go for them. You may decide to just move on from this person and find the strength to just keep moving. Um, let's see if there's anything else coming in. Anything else coming in? Yeah, so you got someone else here. Someone younger may not be here for a long time. Yeah, I hate to say this, but you know, i got to be honest. This is someone here for a good time, not a long time. Um, but also, it's a lot of times someone very enthusiastic, charming. You know, they do everything just right, but they don't always stick around. So you never really know where this is going to go. I see some of you starting to get a lot of attention. If you do start getting out, I do see you getting attention, but I do see you being in that Empress energy, you know, meeting people that you don't have any faith in actually going anywhere. You're just not on the same page. But I do see this opportunity uh, presenting itself. I hate to tell you, it's someone you either already know from a long time ago. Things either didn't go well. The only positive energy I can see for some and I don't feel this very strongly, just a few, that it's someone who, um, who's, who does more thinking, they're in their head more than they actually do communicate. So there's an event that, uh, that happened, uh, someone crushing on you, but they're in their head thinking, not taking action, you see, someone who didn't take the risk. So, because I, I, I feel there's good, a lot of good energy, a lot of really positive energy here. Yeah, see, a lot of positive. Justice is about to be served. You got someone here who's not right for you. And I, very well could be this other person here. Like I said, this person who comes in from a long time ago, a childhood crush, they come in out of the blue all flirty, like things are still like they were when you were young. <laughs> okay, like that kind of energy, yeah. Where it's like, you know, and you're in this Empress energy going, are you kidding, what? <laughs> That's just how I feel about that one. <laughs> It's what it's telling me. So they're not right for you because you're moving towards someone who is right. So I do see all three air signs as well as all the fire signs and a lot of earth So and, and water. So it really could be anyone. See you getting attention. You're moving away from someone who's not right for you. And you have someone who's, who's coming in. And they could be someone who wants to make things right, hoping you can put whatever happened behind and move forward successfully. So, yeah. You got a lot going on here, Libra. I wish you guys the best on this path. And I, I feel that your uh, guidance here is to just kind of keep doing what you're doing, you know. Uh, look at people, making sure you're on the same page. Take the things you've learned from past relationships. You know, it's about knowing when to end something. You know it's not going to go anywhere, so why bother kind of energy. Uh, focusing on something else. I do feel some of you are definitely focused on money. You're doing what's right for you, but there's an offer. You are going to get an opportunity. I feel like you have someone who wants another opportunity to start fresh as well. Okay. 
So I wish you guys the very best in this path. I'm hoping that uh, maybe next week this will sort out. hope it's just a short-term energy and that exact person that you need comes in. I feel like there's someone here, but I'm not so sure you're going to go for it, okay? Now, just remember, you have the tools. You've mastered the elements. You already know everything you need to know. But you do have an emperor here. So I'm just wondering if this is an emperor that rejected you at some point. They failed to recognize and see uh, failed to take action to fight for what they wanted you see maybe their ego got in the way there was competition you know don't know a lot of obsession here devil energy twice you know a lot of times people look at that as unhealthy toxic situation but i feel there's a lot of focus on money career finances I feel there's a lot of obsession. Uh, there's some jealousy here as well. Someone's very jealous. It's also an energy of a, with that three of swords, a lot of fear. You know, maybe you were afraid of a third party. There's something that was said, maybe accidentally someone put their foot in their mouth or something, you know. So you guys will have to let me know on that because, boy, there's, I, th I feel a lot of you got some very different scenarios right now. Mercury retrograde, I feel, is coming to an end. Take care, you guys. I so wish you the best. Bye for now.